Okay, here we'll look at some probiotic additions commonly added uh, to soil or to plants to help protect them. Mycorrhizae, Azosporillum, root shield, and actinovate are some common ones. We also see this uh, evident in like yogurts, you see here soy gurt, um, where we see the use of probiotics to show that there's some beneficial um, microbes in this particular product that has live cultures. So first off, probiotics are beneficial microbes. Adding microbes are life to your soil. Some companies sell blends so grower can get a wide mix of microbes with one application. Other companies favor monospecies by trying to match a uh, species with a particular purpose. So again, you have to look at some of the labels and some of, the, of what they include. So looking at mycorrhizae, for example, this helps increase root to soil surface area interaction. It works best when plants are grown in stressful conditions, and there's two different types of mycorrhizae. There's endomycorrhizal fungi, which grows within the roots and can form symbiotic relationships with about 85% of terrestrial plant species. Uh, for cannabis, this is kind of what you're looking for. You want an endomycorrhizal fungi um, species. Ectomycorrhizal fungi uh, live on the outside of root cells, and they mainly form relationships with conifers and other hardwoods there. Remember that cannabis is an annual, so you want to be focusing here on the endomycorrhizal. Also, your tomatoes, your squash, uh, pepper plants can also um, associate with endomycorrhizal fungi. It's a symbiotic relationship that works because the fungi pr provides increased soil contact with the roots to benefit the host plant. So it's kind of this interrelationship. So the um, fungus here is providing this increased web, increased interaction with the soil. As in return, the fungi is able to get sugars from the plant, which is made in the upper leaf structures. So again, this is kind of that symbiotic relationship between these two. Fungus provides increased surface area, plant provides sugars. Azosporillium papilliciae is a nitrogen fixing bacteria. It's often used in the early stages of plant development, so keep in mind that this is a warm weather derived species, so applying it in cold soils will have little benefit. With uh, bacteria, they can go through this very quick exponential phase as temperature increases. You want to make sure they provide with enough food and resources, otherwise they'll go through a very quick uh, death phase, quick to rise, quick to fall. Um, so again, in soil environments, this uh, is typically associated with uh, root structures, and again, it will increase with heat and heat of the soil, so be mindful of that, that applying it to cold soils will do little good. There's also a product called Root Shield, Root Shield Plus. It's made by BioWorks. It contains two active ingredients, two different strains of uh, trichoderma, and it col colonizes plant roots to help reduce the chance of infection by a pathogen. There's a granular and a wettable powder. The granular is preferred due to the longer shelf life and ease of application. It's like very, very fine sand. The wettable powder cannot be run through drip irrigation systems and has a shorter shelf life. So while they both have the same end uh, um, active ingredient, um, same end result, the granular can be preferred simply because of its longer shelf life and can be easily mixed into growing media. Lastly, we have act Actinovate, made by Valiant, and it contains this uh, Streptomyces uh, particular uh, uh, microbe in it. It does have some supporting scientific documentation supporting the ability to suppress disease and uh, can be run through uh, drip irrigation systems. So this is kind of an advantageous of this particular uh, fungus and it's all of these can be very expensive, so you have to be mindful where they're being used. But I just want to give you some ideas of some very common probiotics that should be potentially considered if you're having a problem and you want to approach it in a biological um, way.